Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to capture a reference from a journal, in particular the Science Direct journal. So if you're studying a science-based background um, research. And I'm going to continue on with the previous uh, theme that I had in relation to searching for references in regards to cancer and smoking. So I'm here in the CIT library database. If I go down to the bottom left hand corner here, I have online databases. So if I press that, and if I scroll here, I have a number of different databases. So I'm going to choose Science Direct. And here we are in Science Direct database. Now, in order to log on to the database, you would need to enter your student number and password. The same student number and password you would use to log on to the CIT computers in Open Access. So what I'm going to do now is I just simply type in the keywords. And I press search. And here we have a list of results. So I simply go through those and see which ones would be of relevance to my research. And here I'm looking at this particular item. So here we are, something that's of relevance to my research. So what I would do next is I just simply go down, have a brief look at the abstract and see if there is further relevance to my studies. And once I am happy with that, I simply go up to the top and press export and simply save it in the file RIS, which is to EndNote. Press export. And I've created a particular folder on my desktop to collect all of the references, health assignment references. And I just simply press the save button and that is our reference collected. So now what I need to do is to go into my EndNote online and import it. So here I am in the my EndNote website. So if I press collect import references, I choose the file type and here I am health assignment here it is, press that and then I simply choose the option. So where did I get the reference from? Science Direct. And I want to assign it to my particular health assignment. So I press that. And I simply press Import. And that was successful. So if I go back into my references, and there you can see if I press on my health groups, my assignment reference, now I have the extra citation there. So that's the end of this particular assignment in showing you how to use my EndNote for Science Direct.